Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today I want to show you how you can properly eject a USB flash drive, an external hard drive, any type of storage device that you have hooked up to your computer, how you can eject that or unmount that from your machine. Now, first off, why would you want to eject or unmount you know, one of these from your computer? Why not just kind of yank it out? I know I've done it before and maybe you have done it before too and it seems like everything went all right. Well, the primary reason why is with one of these plugged in, your computer might be reading from the, from the disk. So you might have a document open or music playing. And so if you just pull it out, it'll interrupt that. Now, more importantly, if your computer's writing something to one of these, so let's say you're saving something or it's saving to a file, if you just pull it out, especially if it's mid-write, it might corrupt that file or you might lose out on some changes that you made to a file. So it's always a best practice to make sure you eject it and that way uh, the computer knows that, hey, I shouldn't be writing anything to this or if something is writing, it'll notify you of that. So how do we eject it? Well, the good news is it's really simple to do. The first thing that we're gonna do though is I'm gonna plug this into the computer and then I'll show you how we can eject it. How do we go about ejecting those uh, drives? Well, I'll show you three different ways you could do it. And probably the easiest way is down on your taskbar in the bottom right hand corner, if I click on that, you'll see this little icon here that looks like a USB flash drive. That's how you can remove hardware or eject media from your computer. So we're gonna click on that and you'll see that I have three different devices hooked up to my computer. I have an external hard drive, another external hard drive, and then I have this flash disk. So I'm gonna eject the external hard drive. So we're gonna click on that. Um, and so now that's been ejected. If I go back to this icon and click on that, you'll see that it's no longer in the list. So at that point, it's safe to remove that external hard drive. Now, other ways that you can also do it is, uh, so here I'm gonna open up File Explorer, um, and this is uh, what I have right now, is that uh, it's selected on the USB flash drive that I had inserted. I could right click on that and I have an eject option. I could click on that. What I could also do is up here in Windows Explorer, File Explorer, I could also click on Drive Tools, and under there, there's also an option to eject uh, and then lastly, what I could also do is I'll load control panel and within control panel, uh, there's something called view devices and printers. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Uh, and then here I'll see all the different devices that I have hooked, hooked up to my computer and the flash disk is one of them. So I can right click on that. And then here too, I can also remove device. Um, are you sure you want to remove this device? Yes. So I've gone ahead and removed that. And uh, so now if I go back to uh, Windows Explorer, you'll see that the external hard drive and that USB uh, flash drive that I had plugged in, they no longer show up on this list. So now it's safe to uh, pull this out of my computer uh, and it won't interrupt with any opening or writing uh, or reading or writing uh, to this storage device. Uh, and that's really, that's really as easy as it is. It's pretty simple to do. Uh, once again, it's the easiest clicking in the bottom right hand corner uh, and ejecting from there. Um, the other ways to do it, there are many ways to do it. They're just a little more complicated, require a few more clicks. And when you're just trying to pull this out, you want to do it as quickly as possible. Uh, so that's it. That's all it takes. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see future videos like this, uh, please hit that subscribe button. You'll get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. And if there's anything else that you're learning how to do or anything else that you'd like to know, leave a comment down below in the comments and I'll add it to my list of videos to create in the future. And hey, that's all I have for you today. I'll see you next time. Bye.